This is P and we're back. This is P and we're back. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe now. That way you can stay up to date with all my videos as far as unboxings, reviews, throwback videos, and comparison videos. So let's go ahead and check out what we got today. So today is actually May the 9th, 2019. Hope you enjoyed your weekend. And we're gonna check out a sort of recent purchase. Um, it's gonna be the Jordan 4 Black Cement, AKA the Jordan 4 Bread OG. And we're gonna compare it with the Jordan 3 Black Cement. So first off, we have the Jordan 3, 1988, originally. But this is gonna be the retro that dates back February the 17th, 2018. So let's check it out. It's got the black lid, the Jordan Jumpman. Oh, and then of course you have the cement on the bottom of the box. Got the paper. And this is a lot of people's grail, which means one of their favorite Jordans of all time. And it is crispy, got the Nike Air on the back for that OG flavor. Also got the um, keychain, that's probably one of the first things that pop. You're like, what in the world? If you're not familiar with Jordan 3s, 4s, 5s, and 6s, normally have um, the keychain. And yeah, you have the air unit on the bottom. So Michael Jordan played for the Chicago Bulls. Um, one of the greatest of all the times. The shoe was actually designed by Tinker Hatfield, which designed a lot of um, Jordan shoes. So the materials consist of leather. You have the cement or elephant print going across the front. And a little bit of tumbled leather in the toe box and in the mid. Also you have the hits of the gray, the infrared um, Jumpman. I think that's the correct red. It may be um, fire red. So yeah, this red is actually fire red. Yeah, I hadn't pulled this shoe out in a while, so I'm just checking it out too. Um, it has the black laces, um, the red eyelids. The laces go through. And yeah, and on the bottom, you see Nike. And on the inside, in the footbed, on well, the inside, the interior is gray. As far as the sock liner behind the tongue, it's the fire red. Uh, the footbed, the sole, is actually red. With Nike Air and the swoosh in black. We'll get a close up on that at the end as well. So that's the left shoe. This is the right medial. Black right here. Some more hits. That cement. White Nike Air on the back. See, I actually um, was able to get two of these. So this is the last one I have in the stash, dead stock, which is um, DS or never tried on, never worn. So that's why a lot of times in my videos on some sneakers, I don't do the on feet. Um, if I'm reselling them or I want to keep them dead stock to maybe resell in the future, who knows? All right, so we're going to put that over here. And over here is going to be the more recent purchase, which is going to be the Jordan 4 bread or the black cement. Originally released in 1989. Comment below if you have the original apparel, maybe it was a child or an adult when this released. So you have the black new buck versus the black leather. And we also have the air unit, Nike Air, and gray on the back. You have the mesh to make uh, the shoe more light, also designed by Tinker Hatfield. Have the ankle support on the 
the side. Jumpman flight on the bottom, Nike as well. And with both of these, I went with nine and a half, which is true to size for me. Black flat laces. And the interior is gray as well. Red behind the tongue. And this is gonna be the fire red as well. So when we compare these two shoes, it's more so like, is it really fair to compare a shoe that was out first? Because the original should win or, you know, a more modern shoe for the next season. Because you got to think, this was actually a shoe and colorway that Michael Jordan actually wore on court. It was a Chicago Bulls colorway. So, yeah. Then you have the hang tag over here, the keychain. Nike Air on it in orange. All right, so let's get down to the comparison. Like, if you had to pick between the three or the four, which one would you go with? Like, if it was me, I like the three and all. It's crispy. You got more hits of white. Um, you definitely could wear the three with black jeans, um, black shorts, uh, black jersey shorts, black joggers black sweats or gray sweats. Same with the four. I just think the fours probably look better with jeans. It's tongue out, in my opinion. I just think it's more crispy. It's more like a smooth black, like with all this black and just a little hit of the gray. Both of these pop. Both of these will look good on court. tongue is a little bit higher on the four. They both have like little tabs on the back. You gotta think, you're just coming out with a new shoe the next year. So you gotta be creative. But this was the thought process of creativity and craftsmanship back in the late 80s. So like, this is a little bit wider. Like, is like um, the upper part of the shoe and they're both like a mid high top and back then I think when these released it was probably like 89 to 100 bucks which was a lot in the 80s like probably unheard of for sneakers during that time but it's to let you know you're wearing one of possibly one of the, even at that time, the greatest players, shoes, and they just look crispy. Like, what do you want for Christmas? You want some Jordans? You want to wear these on the first day of school? And it was only dropping like once a year, so versus now where you got all these retros um, every week, every month, different colorways. It was only one that you look forward to each year, like when are the new Jordans gonna drop? And I think the shoes actually started buzzing the most, like of course with the rookie Jordan, um, number one, number two a little bit. Once you get into like seeing commercials with this, the three was the first one with the visible air unit to let you know air was in the shoe, like the air window. Like for me, it's like elementary school. So to see something like this with a hang tag, the keychain on the side, it's just like crazy. We wasn't even thinking about like the Nike on the back because that's what it was for the first time. It's just that later on when they started retro and the Jordans, he was getting the Jordan brand Jumpman on the back and on the bottom and he was still happy to get the kick sneakers but it was like that I'm gonna get original it just looked better with the Nike Air on the back and like the keychain would just have like the jump man on it on the retro so when they retro the OG the 
music in the original. That's what OG means, original. This, this black is just killing them. Comment below, like, if you ever got this shoe and how the experience was on you purchasing it or if it was a gift and wearing it, lacing it up for the first time and wearing it for the first time. Especially if he wasn't the individual that was getting expensive shoes all the time. Like now, the younger generation, um, they're getting these Jordans and stuff all the time because their parents may only had one or two or one a year. So each time you want to do more for your kids, you want them to look better. Uh, if, you know, if the income is available and you know, you want to get them the things that you may have never had or maybe get them things that you did have and you're like, wow, this actually came back. I get to sort of relive it a little bit with my child, my nephew, my godson, whoever. And for the, for the uh, females as well. For me, I never actually had this shoe, but um, as a kid, but some of my friends did. To see it come out again. I'm gonna go with the four <laughs> over the three. The four gets the 10. But I actually do prefer, um, check out my comparison video where I compare this four with the white cement fours, the OG. I like the white better, but this is fire. New buck. Yeah, most definitely. So we're gonna do a close-up visual. This one, and this one. Let's check it out. Fire. Behind the tongue, you have the Air Jordan upside down. Sit this one there for a while. Now you have the three. Which is rumored that Tinker Hatfield, they've been retroing some threes with the Nike swoosh on them. But they're going to actually do this black cement with like a gray swoosh this year, later on this summer or early fall. Comment below if you've been seeing any images of that, what you think. I think I may have to cop. Get me a pair of those. And not only is this a comparison video, it's like a review. If you're just rolling through YouTube for the first time or trying to be interested in the history and origins of uh, Retro Jordans, the sneaker culture, hopefully you see this video may inspire you to um, do your own videos or give you the visual firsthand the iconic sneaker some people don't get it they're like freaking sneakers for a hundred bucks two hundred dollars three hundred dollars I don't get it and you may never will But for others, this is like artwork. All right, so that's the three. We'll put the four, the three and the four side by side. The three, which is on the left side. Look at the red on the uh, bottom on the outsole of the four. And the gray. It's just a little hit on the eyelids that pop. Like, think about it. They actually thought to put just red up here on the front. On the back of the tongue. Sneakerhead, comment below how many 
pairs of the fours that you have in your collection. Whether it's the 2019 release right here, or maybe you have some of the previous retros or the original. you have are you a fan of the three and who actually does like a lace swap like if you was to do a lace swap for the black cements would you do it with red or gray or maybe even white comment below some people like to be original and different do something to make your shoes pop more. I think the only other lace swap you could do with this one would probably be like a red. So I think the gray may would clash. With the honeycombs and gray, gray against gray, you want something to pop. Alright, so this basically is going to conclude the video. Hope you, hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, shout out to all my day one supporters and my new subscribers. Hit that notification bell. You're ready to upload another video as well in a few minutes. And right now, as far as uh, the NBA, we have two teams left in the finals. Toronto versus Golden State. Comment below. I think it's like 3-1. Thompson comes back for Golden State. Who knows what Durant is going to do. They can't leak that information out. Um, due to his injury with his calf muscle. Comment below your favorite NBA team. Comment below also if you was a Chicago Bulls fan, but then after Jordan left, maybe he migrated to the Lakers and maybe when LeBron came, um, comment below. I was a Chicago Bulls fan, of course, as a kid. Yeah, when Jordan retired, I rolled with Kobe and with the Lakers. Not really pressed on LeBron, uh, not denying his talent at all. It's crazy to even do that. But yeah, but anyway, Jordan 4 Brett, Jordan 3, enough with your ramble, we out.